Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can send the WooCommerce order notification on the customer's WhatsApp number. We are going to create a workflow in which when someone makes a purchase on your WooCommerce website, it is going to send the instant WhatsApp message. The tool that I'm going to use is Sure Triggers. It is a free tool and you can create your account on Sure Triggers and you can start creating workflows on the Sure Triggers account. It is not only for WordPress or the WooCommerce website. You can connect more than 100 applications and you can create workflows between these applications and you can make them communicate with each other. Here you will see the list of applications that you can connect in a single dashboard. In the previous videos, I have shown you how you can create account on Sure Triggers, how you can connect your WordPress or the WooCommerce website in Sure Triggers account. We also created a workflow to send an email to the customer using the Gmail account. We also created a workflow in which two WooCommerce websites were connected to each other and they can communicate with each other. Now in this video, we will see how we can connect the WhatsApp in the Sure Triggers account and how we can send the WooCommerce order notification on the WhatsApp. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm on the Sure Triggers account. Now first we will need to connect the WhatsApp to the Sure Triggers account. So let's go to apps and click on add new connection. Search for WhatsApp. So you will see the WhatsApp here, click on it. It will open a new window. Now here you will see connect Sure Triggers and WhatsApp Cloud API account. So we will need to create WhatsApp Cloud API account. And from there we will need to get the access token, the phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So let's go to the developers.facebook.com. So you need to open this website, developers.facebook.com. Now make sure that you will be logged into your Facebook account. So when you go to developers.facebook.com, you will see my apps in the right hand side. Click on it. From here, you can create different types of apps. So I'm going to create a new app. Click on create app. Let's select other and click on next. Select an app type. So select the business. Click next. Let's enter some name for the app. So I'm going to name it as WooCommerce Connection. This will be your Facebook email. And from here, you can select your business account. If you do not have any business account, it is going to create a new one. So I already have it. So I'm going to connect one of them. Click on Create App. Now it will ask you to enter your Facebook password. So you can enter your Facebook password. So I'm going to enter my password. Click Submit. Now it says add products to your app. Here you will see the option WhatsApp. Click on setup. Now select a meta business account. We have already selected one. Leave it as it is. Click continue. It says welcome to WhatsApp business platform. Click on start using the API. All right, now we have got the temporary access token. We have got one test number here. So what it is going to do, it is going to use this test number and it is going to verify whether you receive the message on the WhatsApp. So what you can do here, you can click on manage phone number list. Now we are going to add one number and we will see whether we receive the WhatsApp message using this number. So I'm going to enter the country code and I'm going to use one of my WhatsApp number for testing. Click next. It will send me the verification code. I need to enter the verification code. Okay, I have got one, so I'm going to enter the code here. Click next. Now click on the send message. So I have got the WhatsApp message on the given phone number using this test number. So this test number has sent me one WhatsApp message. Hello world, welcome and congratulations. So that means it is successful. Now let's do one thing. Let's go to the step number five and click on add phone number. Right now here you can enter your business name. I'm going to create this one for one of 
one of my clients. So I'm going to enter their name here. Add business profile page. Let's add the business profile page also. Let's add the country. Click next. If you already have a business setup, then you don't need to go through this. You can select your time zone for category. I'm going to select professional services, whatever your service category, you can select the service category and click next. Now here you need to enter a phone number, which is currently not connected to any WhatsApp account. So I'm going to enter new number here. Let's select the country code. And this is the number people will see when they chat with you. So I'm going to enter that number here. And for the verification, I'm going to select text message. All right, so I have received one text message on the given phone number. So I'm going to enter the verification code here. Click next. Once your phone number is verified, you will see your phone number here listed. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this token, the temporary token. Click on copy and let's add it here. Let's go to the phone number ID, copy that one. Enter it here. Let's go to WhatsApp business account ID, copy it and enter it here. And let's name it as WhatsApp Cloud API. Whatever name you want for this connection, you can enter that name and click on connect WhatsApp Cloud API. All right, so now it is connected. Let's go back to the show triggers. I'm going to close this. Now we are going to create a new workflow for the WooCommerce website. So let's go to workflows and create a new workflow. Let's name it as WhatsApp messaging. Click on start building. Let's add trigger. The trigger will be the order created on the WooCommerce website. That means if someone makes a purchase on your website, the action will be triggered. So let's search for the WooCommerce and you will see the option here. Select WooCommerce. Start event will be product purchase. That means the order is created and the products are purchased. We have two WooCommerce website linked into this Sure Triggers account. So I'm going to select one of them. Now select product. You can select any particular product, any particular category, or you can select any product. So if someone makes purchase of any products, it is going to trigger this action. So click on fetch data. All this data will be fetched from the WooCommerce. Click save. So we have created the trigger. Now let's create an action. We will first create a delay of one minute. So search for delay and delay for one minute. It is not necessary to create any delay. If you want, you can skip this step. Click on test action and click save. So we have got one action. After that, click on plus sign again. And now search for WhatsApp. And click on start, select event. The message will be send text message or template message. So I'm going to select send text message. Select connection. This is the connection we have created and recipients mobile number that will be the number of the customer. So from here you can select phone. And this is the billing phone. Remember we have created the trigger for the WooCommerce order purchase. When someone makes a purchase, this tool is going to fetch the data of the customer. It's, it is going to gather the information of the customer such as name, first name, last name, email address, phone number. And from there, we have got this billing phone number. So this is the phone number of the customer. And for the message, you can enter your message. Now here I have mentioned your order ID. Now from here, you will see some dynamic tags that you can use. Click on it. And here you will see product ID. So this will be the ID of the product that they have purchased and status is whatever status of the order currency everything will be shown here 
the search for order and you will see all the details all the short codes for the order this is total orders in the total items in the order order key so i'm going to select order key and it will show the order key here if you want to mention the name of the customer you can use the tag message i want to create a message such as thank you and after that the name of the customer so i can after thank you i can enter the tag billing first name so this will be like thank you john for selecting param fashion for your order for your products or let's make it thank you john for selecting param fashion so this is the first message that will be sent to the customer on the whatsapp so as soon as someone makes a purchase on your woocommerce website it is going to send a whatsapp message once the workflow is ready you can publish the workflow and it is going to start sending the messages on the whatsapp so this is how you can send woocommerce whatsapp notification using the free tool that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.